Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview match box Monday. This is something I want to try and do, especially this year as Matchbox is celebrating its 70th anniversary. They'll be rolling out some special edition sets. Uh, there'll be some other models that will kind of be interspersed in the main line and other, uh, and other lines. And there's going to be a lot of celebrating, a lot of cool cars to collect. And I'm going to try and put together the collection. I've already showcased that special edition set that I think is a Walmart set with the uh, Bugatti, the Ford GT. I did, uh, showcased that a couple weeks ago. I've now got this uh, Creative Options case set aside just for these models. New, new castings and all. We're going to do this set right now next Matchbox Monday. And I'm going to really try and stick to dropping something on Monday at some point every week. Um, I'll be doing this special 70th anniversary collector set. This one will be great because we've got some new castings in there, including this incredible Porsche 910. So that is coming up, but let's get right to it. And we'll start with just the amazing artwork. What is going on with Matchbox and the art? I have, I'm just seeing like every set seems to have like even better and better art. They are just killing it. Going back to this Porsche as well. I mean, look at these. Like that's more of a retro look, right? Kind of a throwback style to the old Matchbox boxes, but it's still beautifully done with amazing colors. And look at this thing. It looks like it should be, you know, it looks like a uh, a painting. Well, it is, you know, it's just beautiful. Even these like um, handwritten names of the cars on here. It's just incredible to see the artwork. And I don't know who's commissioned this art, who's doing it. Um, if I can get to the bottom, it's maybe Abe will talk about it. But it, there's some artists that really deserve, deserve some love because it is just amazing. There's the back. Cool, um, cool, more like more cool writing here. Um, there's that if you want it. I don't know. Um, this is a moving parts special edition set. I have no idea if this is uh, going to be exclusive to a particular store at any point. But these are all moving parts, of course. So let's get right to it. We'll start over here with the 2021 Mazda MX. I'm not going to go um, by number. Obviously, the art here is all the same. It's kind of got this, like, looks like kind of a city, but it's more like paint strokes in the back, but it still has that kind of the city look. Just amazing art. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, open this up. Let's talk about the art, and that's the weird thing about doing these videos. You talk about the art, and then you just rip it open. Um, here is the model. These come in kind of a... I'd call this kind of a flat orange, matte orange um, paint. So kind of a coarse, uh, coarse is the wrong word, but it's just not glossy, right? Wheels look cool. They're all the five spokes. Um, looks like all the wheel styles are the same. The type of wheels are different, but all the wheel sty style styles are the same. This particular casting debuted in light blue last year, right? Tended to hang a little bit. That's okay. Um, we're seeing these moving part models. We're seeing all kinds of castings show up for the 70th anniversary. That's a nice, that's a nice model. Put it right here. Try and move some stuff out of the way. Next one, we'll move over to the other side. A casting that debuted uh, last year, kind of recently towards the end of the year. It is the Hummer EV. There is the beautiful, beautiful art. Here is the model. Let's get it open. Blister kind of came off there, but... See if we can, there we go. This one has an opening hood. I have no idea. I'll try and, oh, well, there's the opening hood, but there's nothing in it, right? Because it's an EV. And here is the model. Orange, black, gray seems to be the uh, combination. So we're seeing some models of the special edition release in this gray style. This one is its unique own uh, kind of, you know, it's obviously matchbox orange, of course, but they've added this black and white trim, which looks really, really cool. So it has kind of a, a new take on the Matchbox Orange for sure. Um, these castings, it looks like this, they're all getting full tampo treatment. The Hummer gets all of it, like sides, front, back. It's got us all. It looks really good in the off-road while. And every, and every one has the uh, orange lipped wheels, which is nice. So there is the Hummer. Next one, we've done the back. Let's go over here. Second release of this one, which was also released in 2022. This is the 2019 Ram Ambulance. This was a casting that was released early in the year. There's the art. Released early in the year, and then 
I, you know, in a mix that was kind of hard to find, and I know a lot of Matchbox collectors. There's, you know, there's there's a lot of Matchbox collectors that love these utility and emergency vehicles, especially ambulances. And this particular casting, because it's all metal, metal cab, metal back, um, metal box, I guess is the way to put it, um, was really sought after, but kind of hard to find. So this second second version, hopefully, is a little easier to find. Really, really nice uh, color combination. This one has opening doors in the back. Look, they've kind of gone with this raw look on them. Um, I don't know if I can get it open. That's not. That's okay. You know that they're opening doors. There's probably some details in there, but we're mainly focused on the casting. It's so nice to have an ambulance, and I know Matchbox because of the expanded budget on the moving parts, they could add all metal, and I know that is most welcome by the Matchbox collectors. We're gonna go right to the front and do the Porsche. I thought about showcasing this model because it is a very popular model. It's a throwback to the old Porsche Turbo. It is the uh, 19, what is it? The 1980 Porsche 911 Turbo. Throwback to the classic Matchbox Porsche Turbo that was released, I mean, in multiple, 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 multiple colors. Um, so it's it's got, let's um, you know, open, well, there's your art. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Oh, we already looked at that art, didn't we? Um, just an absolute stunner of a model. And it was very popular among the early Matchbox collectors, had opening doors. So some of the lines on this, it might seem a little bigger than some, might seem a little bit more toy-like, and that's on purpose because it is a throwback to the old, um, to the old uh, Porsche turbo casting. So opening door, we'll close that up. Probably never open it again because of that paint. I these this kind of paint can chip easily. I think or maybe this this won't. Falcon on the on above the front wheel, which is cool. Nice logos on this one. I would say this is probably the signature model of this set. Probably the most sought after. Plastic. Um, these all have plastic wheels, of course, and you know I highlighted the wheels, but um, you know these are that mid-range moving parts, so they have plastic wheels but moving parts, which is kind of cool. This is a fantastic casting. Really, really like it. Really like the throwback style of this one. Um, and it looks really good in this orange with the Falcon. That is, I think, the best one too. But the model that I chose to feature here is actually the opening hood Corvette. This is the 2020 Chevy Corvette C8, obviously. Art is tremendous. Here is the model. Let's, well, before we open it up, I brought them all out. I mean, there's only, there's only been two previous versions of the opening Corvette, but I can walk you through them real quickly. I don't even put them on the turntable. We've, it debuted in blue, the C8 Corvette, and I always thought this casting was really, really well done. Hot Wheels did the racing version right with spoiler, and then they did their own in ID, but it had that kind of large wheel in the back look, which was fine, super treasure hunt. But this is, I thought the Matchbox, of, as far as the $1 models, kind of nailed it with the blue one, um, with the new casting. We saw it in blue, then we saw it in red. This Look at the rich history of this one already. Uh, red is really cool, bright, clean, tail lights, headlights, all done. Then if you remember, it was the very first Super Chase. So it holds a special uh, little spot there as the first Super Chase. It's not very good looking, but it is a Super Chase. I don't like the deco on it. I don't like the way it's done, but it's cool. I mean, it's fine. Super Chases actually just have to be Super Chases. They don't have to be good looking. <laughs> Bonus if they are, but uh, that one's kind of cool. Um, then we saw it in black. We saw it released in black. I really like this jet black version with the uh, with the dark chrome rims. Just recently, the most recent release in 2023 is this white version. Lost the tail lights, but gained this black stripe on the side, this detailing on the side around the intake, which looks really cool. And then this uh, detailing on the hood. I, I think it looks nice. I'd love to have the tail lights, but I think the white with the black wheels. You guys know I'm a sucker for white cars, and this one looks really, really good. A um, couple others that were kind of released in the middle outside of the main line. There was uh, this guy, the 2020 Corvette dinner model from the uh, Gathering of Friends last year. This is the blue version. Beautifully done. Um, there was a special, more limited green version. I didn't get that one. I just got this one, this blue version, which is just a stunner. Um, I even like what they've done. We, you know, none of us have been huge fans of Matchboxes, like two-piece wheels, but I thought they did a nice job with this. Kind of gave it its own unique look. So there's that one, um, and then the other one without the uh, opening part is this Golf version from the uh, Matchbox Collectors right series. Some people literally like this one. Other people are like, oh, it's just doing golf. I, it's a nice version, I think. 
Um, I mean, as far as golf cars go, I think it looks really, really good. And I do like the way they did the packaging. I think it looks really nice. Um, there's the back if you haven't seen it before. Came out, what, a few months ago, right? I actually opened it up for this. I still had it in the box. And then we've had opening parts, right? We had that blue somewhat duplicated. It's pretty much the same casting, except it has the... Um, has the opening uh, the opening rear so you can see the engine on it so there was that first version then there was just the recently released version which I really like because it has kind of a I kind of like its plain look you know also the engine detailed on that one and now we have the third version we've gotten here and here it is in this special edition uh, moving parts set so let's open it up let's put this one on the turntable for sure that's what we're gonna do here it is I'll show you let's see if the engine got done it did so I can open it up a little bit wider there you go notice the detailing there let's see if I can keep it in focus it says Corvette on the engine anniversary on the license plate striping on the sides this looks really good really really good close it up and get it on the turntable I like what they've done here. It's the same casting, essentially. I think it looks really, really nice in this uh, in this matte orange. You have to really kind of, that pink, sometimes you have to be real careful when you close it, I think. But I think that one looks really nice. There you go. I'll move the camera up just a little bit so we can uh, move these cards out of the way so we can add to the anniversary collection. We'll just kind of go, I know these aren't necessarily in order, but we'll just go for it for now. Ambulance, does it fit? Yeah, it does, barely. Porsche and Corvette. That's the set, we are 10 cars in. I think we'll do another five or six with this one next. Can't wait to do it. Uh, that will be next Monday. Thanks everybody, bye.